back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial areas of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continue to push you towards professional success in your careers as you begin to navigate through business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we explore a topic that is all too common in relationships, even though some people don't consider it a form of cheating. What the hell is an emotional affair? Now, you know how I am, right? I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. You know, I want you to realize something before we dive in today. Cheating on your partner or your spouse occurs in the mind as well as the bedroom. This topic came up during a coaching session and I realized it is something that we have never explored in detail here on my channel. But I also realized how common it is in these coaching sessions that I have. Whether it's someone telling me about their partner or about themselves when it comes to a relationship or marriage. So let's start with what exactly an emotional affair is. An emotional affair in its simplest form is when you are emotionally invested in someone outside of your relationship or marriage than you are with your actual partner or your spouse. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, hold up, Weave. I have close friendships with a good amount of people. And to that point, I would say, great. We all need friends and personal relationships that allow us to grow outside of our relationships. Not only is that healthy and normal, it's also necessary. But see, this specific emotional affair I'm talking about is more than just a friendship. See, an emotional affair, though, can usually start as a friendship with a man or a woman and soon is developed over time, just like a normal friendship or relationship would. But there's sort of a switch that flips at some point where you begin so emotionally invested and comfortable with them that you begin sharing incredibly personal stories about your own personal relationship with your partner. You begin to catch feelings without actually realizing that you're catching feelings. In some cases, people start bad-mouthing what they are going through at home with their partner. They begin sharing with each other what they would actually prefer would happen in their personal relationships. And there's this sort of common ground that's found. And emotionally, there's a powerful connection. And that connection sometimes leads to a sexual connection. But let's rewind for a second. Why exactly would someone not realize they are having an emotional affair? Great question. Well, when you're in the moment, you don't realize it because you are still going home to your partner at night, right? You still love them. You still care about them. You still make love to them. You still share both kids and bills together. You don't plan on leaving them. At least you don't think so, right? But, but what, Weave? But what about what you're not sharing with them? What about the unhappy things you're sharing with your friend that you aren't with your partner? What about the bad mouthing you do behind their back but not to their face? What about the fact that you are sharing some of the most intimate details of your life and relationship with someone who is not the person you say that you love? Oh wait, you thought cheating started with your partner going on an app? Kissing another man or woman? Flirting with someone? Nah, cheating and infidelity can and most times does start as a friendship. And what happens when you get comfortable around someone? You naturally begin telling them more and more and and more, texting and calling them more, and more, and more, spending more time with them. And as that happens, you may not realize it, but it can start something to build a connection that you don't feel you have with your partner. But I'd ask you, is that connection because you haven't tried with your partner? Does your partner know about everything you're sharing with your emotional support friend? And if they do, have they made an effort with you to fix it? See, it's easy to run to an outside source for an internal source of temporary happiness. But what about home? What about your partner? What about building a meaningful relationship where you meet halfway and come to a common ground about issues that you may be experiencing? Are you getting close to someone and substituting your happiness through your emotional support of another man or a woman? Interesting question, huh? It is quite possible that you are unhappy. It's possible you have been cheated on 
someone and this is your revenge. It's possible you should have left that relationship a long time ago. But it's also quite possible you have no damn idea that you are emotionally having an affair on your partner or your spouse. Either way, you know what you gotta do, right? Yep, you got a decision to make. Are you headed down a path that will get you caught up in a sticky situation of having two relationships? One of which you had no earthly idea you were even getting into in the first place? Are you leaning towards leaving your relationship? Are you happy? Are you just releasing some frustration to someone else because your spouse or your partner won't make the changes and meet you halfway? Whatever the answer, you need to figure it out. Because whether you know it or not, a lot of times an emotional affair can cause more damage than a physical one. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you found some value in this video today, make sure that you like and comment, share it as well. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and become an official part of the team. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.